this is an e-paper display. As you can see, I've done some modifications and you've actually got four completely independent segments there. You've got the main back plane and uh, three additional segments, which are actually from the car display. On the back, I've actually modified the connections using silver paint. I've peeled off one edge, as you can see on the right-hand side there. And what I've done is I've peeled off the back elastomer, which is like a rubbery coating on the back on the very back panel, using a small scalpel. And once you scrape that away, you've actually got access to the contact area itself. So I've hooked up a wire using silver paint there. And the other three contacts on the back, the other three segments, are just silver painted. This is quite handy, as this technique will allow you to have up to 11 independent segments on the, cl on the car display, which is very useful. If you look at it up close, you can actually see the individual segment switching. And I have noticed that as they darken and lighten, there is a variability, so maybe that could be useful for a memory or something like that. I mean, okay, you'd only get like 8, 12 bits per cell or something like that, but it's still pretty good. So that little chip there represents about 128 bits of memory, effectively.